All right. Well, I know all of you guys might be judging me, and you might be saying, Bruce, that is an awful, awful lot of skis. But there's more. All right, you little rhinos, let's dive into this video. Ski Gear 2024 updated. It is a big year. It's the end of the year. You guys have been asking for this literally the entire season. And I've just been traveling World Cups, competitions all over. I have two days at home, going out to Whistler tomorrow. So I figured what a better time. I'm gonna pack up my bag, my ski gear, all that stuff for the next two months in Whistler. Might as well show you guys what I got for the 2024 season. All right, so for those of you guys that watched last year's video, you're gonna know that I got picked up by Dope Snow. I've actually been working with them for two years now, traveling, doing content trips, all that amazing stuff. I actually work part-time for them when I'm on the road competing. So Dope Snow has been one of my best sponsors and biggest supporters over the past couple years. With that in mind, I have literally the most Dope Snow gear out of absolutely anybody I know. I think 20 kits at this point. I'll lay them all out. You guys can check it out. You also have seen them on Instagram and other stuff like that. But between filming video projects with them, shoots for them, uh, helping us on ads and also just gear I wanna ride, I actually, I, I just have too much now, but it's amazing. And since it's Christmas, I figured why not? I'm gonna lie it all out for you guys. Show you guys literally the entire haul. We're gonna time lapse me bringing all my dope show stuff out. Also Duke, where he is, there he is. Super cute. We love the big boy. Now, I know this probably seems pretty Outrageous to all you guys, but you definitely won't see me complaining about it. It's like every child is gears dream right here I'm gonna have to pick out what I want to bring to us for the next two months So having everything here kind of allows me to lay out all the gear and you know go one by one All right, so a lot of the stuff here is actually folded already, you know ready to go We have stuff like the cobalt blue jacket here. Absolutely love this one super nice We have the light blue. I got the pants. I got a lot of matching full matching kits So this is like light blue pants and I have the light blue jacket Wow, that's at the bottom of the bag. But I have the light blue jacket as well to match the full kit. So these XL snow pants on me are absolutely monstrous. The legs are already rolled up. I can try them on for you guys quickly. With my pink sandals. But for everybody who thinks dope snow gear isn't baggy enough, if you are 5'3 and you get triple XL, you're gonna be drowning in it. I'm a really big fan of the built-in belts and everything. Super nice. And I personally ride the shell versions of all the pants and jackets just because I like the lightweight stuff for doing bigger tricks. But it does actually look pretty damn good. While I'm busy laying everything out, deciding what I want to wear, I'll throw up some pictures of some of my favorite outfits I've rode this season from Dope Snow. And uh, I'm sure you guys are gonna like them as well. All right, we're making progress, but the more stuff I lay out, the more I realize I have enough such a hard time deciding what I want to bring on this trip. Here's the full loadout. You guys can help me pick in the comments. The all white, the all green, the all blue. Kind of like the all one color. This puffer is super sick. I really like the Legacy Spring Jacket. I got more green. I got more purple, blue. It's just crazy. We got sweaters up here as well. Personal favorite, all white, all green. Love that. Or just, you know, all black with the black pants and rock the black t-shirt. Especially for spring, the all black is pretty hardcore. So huge shout out to Dope Snow, they're absolutely amazing and I love the gear. All right, now if you guys remember from last year's video, I signed with a company called Xpex. This year, guys, we're changing things up in a really big way when it comes to goggles, we're going with Xpex. I also made another YouTube video about this, but big surprise right here, these bad boys. I got three pairs of lenses in here. You know, the all Canadian case is super dope. Moment of truth, these bad boys right here are Drop the lens, good thing it's magnetized. These bad boys right here are the Bruce Oldham Pro Model Ski Goggles. Obviously this is the clear lens. I like to ride clear lenses for a lot of the days just because it's kind of cloudy or dark or I'm night riding. If you see right here, it has my signature on all the lenses, which is super, super cool. I mentioned this in the last year's video, I expect that some of the best quality, it's all homemade in Canada. They really put quality first when it comes to everything. So I'm really, really excited about how these turned out. The OG lenses right here are darker lenses. They're really sick. They match really well with the purple. We got the anime theme going around. You'll also see my initials right there. You guys will see me rocking them all year on the slopes. And again, the magnets make it super, super easy to switch out lenses. Just one after the next. When I'm on the ski hill, it's like, you know, depending on the weather and the comp, I can just switch them out. Go in night mode, boom. And these bad boys are not gonna fall out unless you take one of the hardest slams of your life. Even then, the lenses are gonna stay in there pretty damn good. I lost the magnetic piece on this because I put it through the dryer like an idiot, but I have my other ones somewhere lying around. Couldn't find it in time, but you can see the magnets right here on the bottom. It just goes, boop, doesn't stay tight against your face. It's held off your face like this, and it looks super good. If you're interested in grabbing a badass pair of goggles that are anime themed and are absolutely top notch, go check out xpex.com. Use the code BRUCE20. 20% off and you're gonna look fly as hell rocking these bad boys. These are the little ski boots I was riding. I actually rocked the exact 
same ski boots right now, just a newer model because I tore all of this and somehow managed to destroy a pair of full Lang race boots. I got some nice Surefoot liners as well. However, they don't fit in my new Lang race boots. So Lang, if you hear this, give me new shells for these bad boys right here. You think if you had shells that were ripping entirely through that would be covered by warranty. However, Lang, not the best job at this, so Corbett took me up with a brand new pair. I'm not gonna dive too deep into Corbett's right now because you guys already know they're the best ski and snowboard shop literally on planet Earth, but they got me new boots. They kind of hooked me up with absolutely whatever I need outside of my sponsors or with my sponsors, they're lifesavers and they have shipping all over Canada. And one of the biggest retailers in North America, shipping on all orders over $100 is free. And they also have two in-store locations in Oakville and one in Collingwood that are massive and have like literally everything. With that being said, these bad boys right here, RS World Cup Series. Ah, they're not the most comfortable ski boot I've ever rode. I can tell you that, I can promise you that. You're not gonna see a lot of park skiers riding race race boots like these. I just find that I have a hard time getting a stiff enough ski boot that I like. The majority of normal park skiing brands that have stiff ski boots don't make them in a size uh, seven. So Lang Race boots, they work, they get the job done. A little uncomfortable. All right, now for the part you guys all came for, skis. Yes, I am still sponsored by Lion Skis. Yes, these are a brand new pair of Tom Wallish Pros, but I have a lot more for you guys. All right, well, I know all of you guys might be judging me and you might be saying, Bruce, that is an awful, awful lot of skis. But there's more. Keep in mind that some of these skis have been acquired over the last year or so. However, that is a lot of pairs of T-Wall Pros right here. All of these are kind of like my edge crack skis where I'm gonna be using uh, either on, you know, home rail days, resort days, to put new bindings on them. You'll see some of them are missing edges. They're a little too clapped out for competition riding. However, like backyard rail and also just like, you know, grimy spring weather riding pretty good. Competition skis here just for, you know, the end of the season and whatever else I have left. We have a pair of Chronics right here as well. But there's more. Whew. I also have two brand new, relatively brand new pairs of Blade Optics. I rode the 96s and some PAL last year with Steve Steve, and I rode the 104s on a dope snow trip, uh, just filming some backcountry and stuff like that. These things are a little big, but super, super fun. One of the most fun skis I've ever rode is Blade Optic right here. And the 96 is a perfect underfoot for me to rip the park too. So I have it ripping in the park and I'm gonna bring it to Whistler for spring park riding. And you guys will see, we have tons of other skis here, gravity grabbers as well. They kind of hold everything up, but you know, other skis, mom skis, sister skis. And we have my poles from Zipline Poles. I'll run through them in a second. But I got a lot of zipline poles and they are freaking sweet. Trust me when I say these are actually like the best ski poles I've ever used. Here are my competition poles. I actually did take off the grips and put on a pair of Armada grips just because I found these grips to be a little bulky for doing big spins and big grabs, but they're very, very good for just skiing normal parts. I really like these zipline poles too. As you guys will see, they're carbon fiber. I've done absolutely everything I can to break them. I cannot break them. Just watch this ski pole. Here's a knee. I'm a pretty strong individual. That's all of my weight and it's barely bending. Like ah, everything and like I cannot bend it. For you to break this pole is physically impossible. And then for, you know, some pal riding, I got the pink zipline poles. I actually ride them in the park because I think they're super sexy and super sick. And you know, the, pr the pink, purple, whatever you want to call it, looks really good. And on top of that, we got the army green. These are same kind of pole baskets, same kind of poles, but these bad boys are telescopic. Obviously, if you want the world's largest pole, you can have it. You can have it all. And if you guys are ever looking to customize your pole baskets, Powder Bunnies has sponsored me for a while. I do indeed have a pro model ski basket and it is insane. Here's some Powder Bunny ones. Here's some US State ones. I have some random ones lying around my house right now, but super easy to switch out. You guys will have seen me use these before. They're dope. All right, helmets. Let's move on to helmets. This bad boy right here. This is my POV rig. I don't like to put mounts on my nice helmet that are riding competitions because it looks ugly. So often I'll go on trips or contests with two helmets, one with the mount, gyro ledge, same kind of helmet. And then this one is my competition helmet. You can see shiny black, super nice, super nice. Right here on the inside, I scratched in monster because you know, we're going for that monster sponsorship one day, but I basically just plugged this bad boy on and launched myself. 
In my opinion, Gyro makes pretty good helmets. They don't sponsor me or anything like that. Corbett hooks me up with a free helmet, but I think it's definitely one of the better options. One thing I forgot to mention here, we have this pile. It's just Arteryx gear. We got Arteryx gear for Team Canada as a Team Canada sponsor this year. I'm not a huge fan of it. It's really thin, basically just shell stuff. However, it is nice for keeping us dry during you know, the rainy days, little Team Canada logo right there. Although being sponsored by Dope Snow, I actually don't really ride any of my Arteryx stuff. So anybody knows somebody that might want some? I'm your guy. Do you like it? Show me. No, it should go in the garden. <laughs> Dope Snow for life. All right, now I know a lot of people don't normally show this in, uh, you know, ski gear for the year, but I am packing up all my stuff. So ski bags, right here I have a Dakin ski boot bag from Corbett's. It's perfect. It literally, ski boots, goggles, helmet, lunches, everything I need in there. Bring it on the plane as my carry-on. Made a video or two about it, it's perfect. Then right here we have the line ski bag, also from Corbett's, but just a full line ski bag. I put like two to three pairs of skis in here and then all of my clothes, I don't actually bring a suitcase on trips. So having a big ski bag like this is kind of clutch. I just ski bag and carry on, that's it. And last but not least for ski year 2024, honorable mentions, this bad boy right here, it's an Acaso. This is my action cam of the year. I've been using it pretty much all season for POV shots and just vlogging, you know, my ski trips for the channel and YouTube. Really, really love this bad boy. If you guys are looking for a sweet little action cam right here, that's not gonna break the bank, this is the option for you. That's all my ski gear for the 2024 season. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be off of Whistler. Keep your eye out for more vlogs coming soon. And a huge shout out to all my sponsors, Line, Dope Snow, Zipline, Corbids, absolutely everybody at Castle for making this season happen. It was a blast.